Here at Pearson Airport in Toronto, you can see the crowds are still here. However, they have thinned out compared to yesterday. Progress is being made, although this problem with the check-in system persists after a cyber attack over the weekend. What we can tell you is Sunwing has said that about 188 flights have been impacted by this check-in issue. 81% of those have been completed or are now in progress as of Thursday afternoon. So there is good news there. And most people here in Toronto, their flights are on time, although there are still people who are abroad who are stuck and others who are stuck right across the country. Here at Pearson, we've been speaking to passengers who say that they're anxious but hoping that they get on board that flight today. Yesterday was a little tense, looking yeah. at refreshing every half hour and they, they were all delayed. Probably just going to be like two hours or something. So. Mommy and Daddy were a little bit more worried. <laughs> yeah, Mommy and Daddy were worried. If we get delayed down there, that's okay. <laughs> you know, so no, no. The airline has said that all passengers who have experienced more than a three hour delay will be eligible for compensation. That will vary depending on the length of your delay. You can head to Sunwing's website for more information on how to start that process. The airline says as well that they hope they will be close to normal operation by the weekend. This is City News Everywhere.